Hey gang, Todd Stottlemyre here, the author of Relentless Success, and today I'm going to be talking about a very important subject that will absolutely help you uh, hit all of your goals. You see, hitting goals is tough, and especially when you pick elevated goals, when you're reaching higher, and, and what I know is when you first get started out on in the process and and on the day-to-day -day grind is we're going to be early on, we're going to be stealing uh, from as much willpower as we have, but it takes more than willpower. It takes why power. I call it your superpower. And your why is truly all the reasons. It's the internal uh, motivation. It's that internal desire. It's the every thread of your body that wants to achieve uh, whatever it is you're after. You know, a lot of people they get stuck, you know, and I was the same way. A lot of people get stuck on like, God, I just don't understand, you know, what is the why and how do I develop a bigger why? And that why is truly all the reasons why you want to accomplish what you're trying to pursue. And I think the best way that I could give you an example of your superpower that we have inside of us called that why power is to really reflect, look back uh, on a very an incredible book, The Compound Effect, written by Darren Hardy, where he talks about this why power. And he talked about it in this way. Just imagine for a second that you had a piece of a board about 10 inches wide and about 30 feet long. And imagine placing this board on the ground. And, and if I said to you, like Darren says in the book, what if I gave you $20 uh, to walk across this board? Could you get from end to end? The answer is, of course. You would at least try. How about now, guys? If we raised this 10-inch wide, 30-foot long piece of wood, what if we raised it 100 stories high and connected one end to a building and another end to a building? Would you walk across it for $20 now? Well, probably not. But here's where the why comes into place. What if you're at the top of one building? This piece of board is connected to the next building, raised a, raised a thousand stories or a hundred or even a hundred stories high in the air. And the other building was on fire and your child was in that building. Would you now cross that piece of board? And the answer is, of course, what changed? Well, what changed is your why you would want to cross a uh, hundred stories high in the first place. See, everything changed, and that's the why. That's the that's the pursuit, the desire, the motivation that we got to find within us, and that we have to discover when we're trying to achieve uh, high and lofty goals. See. You know, um, it's not just about hitting the goal. It's also about being fulfilled in life. I mean, imagine you hitting a goal and then getting to the end of the goal and being miserable, right? So we're after fulfillment. And the way we get fulfillment is to think about it this way. And it'll help you develop your why. Whatever you're pursuing, I want you to imagine life as if you'll never hit that goal that you can only live exactly the same way you're living right now. And, and you're not going to be able to hit that goal. So I want you to imagine that. I want you to not only imagine it, but I want you to feel it emotionally, never achieving uh, your greatest desires. And now I want you to imagine uh, you achieving those greatest desires. What does that life look like? And what does that life look like versus uh, the prior one where you're not going to hit that goal and the pain right where's the pain and and is the pain for you greater of living a life of never hitting a goal or is there a greater pain and going through whatever you're going to have to go through to hit the goal so that you can live your championship life here's what we know there's going to be a pain no matter what and, and I know this, that you can begin to develop your why all around the reasons why you want to hit that goal in the first place. And, uh, you know, for me, 
Uh, personally, guys, um, I have a why that I live with. And that why uh, takes me back to 1981 when uh, I gave a bone marrow transplant to my little brother uh, who was fighting for his life. He was battling leukemia. I was 15, he was 11. And you know, my marrow that they took from my body and injected it into his body, uh, see his body didn't accept my marrow, eventually put him into a coma and then he passed. And I gotta tell you, I lived with great sadness, I lived with great anger, and I lived with great guilt for a long time. But here's what, and it really changed my life. And, and that moment, that tragic event, uh, really was installed a why in me with everything I do, which is why I'm so relentless on every goal that I'm trying to achieve. I'm so relentless where I don't wanna give up control. And, and in the case back to 1981, you see, I had no control on what was gonna happen. And because of that, and because of the anger and the guilt and the sadness, uh, with everything that I pursue, I pursue with a no quit attitude. You see, I, I wrap my mind around what I want to achieve and, and literally my why is I go all in all the time with no retreat. Now, I want you to know that that's my personal story. You probably also have some personal stories in you where if you'll reflect back, maybe places of pain, maybe today you're living in a place where you're just not happy with uh, where you're living, or maybe, uh, you, you know, once again, you have some new goals, they're lofty, and I just want you to know that willpower in most cases is not enough, which is why most people who make a New Year's resolution never achieve that resolution because ultimately they're just going into it with willpower. We need more than willpower. We need that superpower. That superpower is absolutely your why. It is all the reasons. It is all the desires. It is every thread of your body that motivates you and puts you into action, even when times get tough. You see, when your why is so big, and we know we're gonna go through tough times, but when your why is so big, the how to, right, to get through those tough times, uh, they're developed through this super why. It just keeps you in action, keeps you moving forward, and by you moving forward, and by you discovering this superpower and achieving those goals, you begin living the inner champion that absolutely lives in you, and that's what I pray. Um, that you acquire is that you live your championship life and that that inner champion that li is living in you, that we unleash that champion. Listen, guys, God bless. Find your superpower. Find your why. Achieve all your goals. Take care.